A leader in cosmetic dermatology at the NYU Medical Center, Dr. Deborah Sarnoff, is here at the Aesthetic Show speaking about how to tighten up a sagging neck. So, Doctor, it's a pleasure to have you here today. What exactly do you mean by tightening up a sagging neck? How do you do that? The sagging neck is the bane of everyone's life when you get to be over a certain age, we'll say maybe over 40, what starts to happen is that the skin is thin and it's getting thinner every year. The triangular shaped face that we all have when we're younger starts to get boxier and there's a drifting down from gravity and from loss of the support structures of the cheeks so that they end up drifting down forming jowls. So we have jowls and we have a muscle called the platysma that starts to split apart and you get cords in the neck and you get a lot of loose hanging skin. So it's not a pretty picture as we get older. What are some of the advances in sunscreen formulations? Well, I think it's really, really good that we finally have the new monograph from the FDA. And what will happen now is that companies will have to really go through the testing and if they're going to make a claim that they're broad spectrum, there'll have to be a certain amount of protection against UVA as well as if they're going to say that they have UVB protection, they will actually be able to say on the label that something that's SPF 15 or higher that also is broad spectrum actually can help prevent skin cancer. And if it's less than that, they're not going to be able to make that claim. Furthermore, certain words we'll no longer see. We're not gonna see waterproof anymore. We'll see water resistant and they'll have to tell us whether it's 40 minutes or 80 minutes, they'll all have to say to remember to reapply because what you see on the label is really only good for two hours and you have to apply it properly. You once said that the dermatologist must sometimes be a psychologist. What exactly did you mean? I think every day a good dermatologist must be a psychologist or sometimes a psychiatrist. And I think that um, there's a lot of things one could interpret from that. I think you have to talk to the patient. You have to get at the root of really what's bothering them. When people come in for cosmetic work, maybe one out of 10, we have to remember, might actually have body dysmorphic syndrome and what they perceive or what they think is wrong may not really, really be what's wrong. So that's the first thing. Sometimes there'll be a very unattractive mole right on the tip of the nose and the patient will come in and say, that doesn't bother me at all. I don't see that when I look in the mirror and they will point to the tiniest little telangiectasia on the corner of the nose that at conversational distance you can't see. So that's a person that you really want to refer to a psychiatrist. But more commonly, we see people that just don't feel like they're in harmony. They, they may feel great on the inside, but they don't think that their outside projects that, or they may feel out of sync, they may be feeling a little bit depressed because they don't think when they look in the mirror it reflects how they are on the inside. And in those cases, I think cosmetic dermatology can help very, very much. Doctor, really fascinating stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. For Aesthetic TV, I'm John Burke.